So we're trying to avoid we're trying to avoid the 23 defense. Everything else is good, but ideally critical and critical damage is much more rare than defense. So let's see how we go. Oh, we didn't get the jackpot. Let's see. Oh, look at that. <laughs> well, come everyone. Today we'll have a special Genshin Impact artifact guide, and this is for patch 2.3. As you can see behind me, I do have some artifacts which seems to have a pretty nice stats with a defensive artifact for Ito and also for Noel. Notice I got the 25% critical damage and this time I was able to get the 12% critical rate. And as you can see over here, I've found a lot of artifacts. So those are the new artifacts from the new domains. And basically you can see this entire page and we'll keep going up to here. I have found about 3,000 worth of artifacts about today and yesterday since the release of the patch. So what I want to do is, instead of giving you guys, you know, showing off the artifacts, I want to give you guys a step-by-step -step process, which is scientific, how to get the best stats for your artifacts. And in this video, we explain everything from finding the stats to artifact filtering, how to level to level 4, level 8, level 8 to 12, level 16, what artifact stats you should look for, and what are the percentage of you getting a particular stats. And this is all backed by the wiki from the different artifact stats, in case you guys didn't know, the main stats, the sub stats, and also different graphic reviews of how artifact works between level 4, level 8, and how to maximize your artifact experience. And also, we even went in further, there's also another guide of showing you how the sub stats work. We'll talk about in the final part, you can also have a range of different values for your sub stats. Now, before we get into the video, it is quite important you guys look at the timestamps of different parts of this video, because I try to cover too many things at once, and some of those seems to be in a particular order. So if you guys are looking for main stats of artifacts and how the best probability works with different main stats of artifacts, look in the timestamp. It is in the later part of the video. So what you want to do is, you want to find the correct main stat, then you want to find the correct sub stats with at least three good sub stats. And then I want to introduce my little method of leveling artifacts with a jackpot system to level 8 and 12 and hoping for the multiple experience and hoping for the spread of artifact stats. And finally, the last part, we'll talk about the sap stats with over 5,000 risen farming. So make sure you use the timestamp, guys, and let's get into the video. So to start our guide video, I do think it's very helpful that we go through everything from the start. Then what I'll do is I'll come into my game and I use my live artifacts in this recording to demonstrate to you guys how to roll for the best stats. And this is all scientific because those are the stats from the game, which is actually hidden from the players. So I list a few of the dot points which I think will be useful. So let's briefly go through those. The first one is, of course, you know, I think by the time you watch this video, you know what artifact you're farming. But I do want to make a video in the future about what are the best artifacts for certain characters. So I'm sure you guys know which artifacts that you're farming. Now the second question is, how much reason should you spend on artifact farming? I'm not sure if you guys have heard of this, you should be prepared to spend about 2,000 to 3,000 reason for a particular good set of artifact farm. And for a player that doesn't have any federal reason, this might take anywhere up to 5 to 10 days. And you may be wondering why is that? Because let's say if you get an artifact that's not the best stat and you start to, you know, leveling the artifact with artifact experience with fodling artifacts, you're actually wasting 20% of the artifact experience once you swap into a better artifact. So it's best to decide how much reason to spend and then pick the best artifact out of your bunch. So what I mean by that is I've spent about 3000 reason and we can use this demonstration to see what I can get out of those artifacts. So this way I am guaranteed to be leveling up the best artifact I can get instead of whatever I find with 500 reason or maybe a few hundred tries. Now the next point is quite important as well. It is important to know what main stats we're looking for and also what sub stats we're looking for for artifacts. And I guess for a character build guide, usually, you know, people tell what artifacts to look for. And what I'll do with our artifact guide in the future, I'll also talk about those. Just for a general example, if you're looking for attack character or DPS characters, you can go for attack percentage, critical rate, critical damage, and you know, elemental mastery, and also energy gain. And for the character I'm farming for, for Ito, you'll be defense percentage, critical rate, critical damage, and energy gain. But there's a big, big trick over here, guys. You got to be aware that those stats don't come at the same rate. So what I want to show you guys is, if we come over here to the wiki for artifacts, what you're going to notice is, let's say if we're looking at the goblet, 
on the goblet, critical rate and critical damage are much more rare than defense percentage. So if you're looking for substats, ideally you want to find those rare substats before you find the less rare substats. And this will give you a better chance of finding multiple good substats. And we'll talk about this in more details as I use my examples with my artifacts. Now we're going to go into a more, you know, important stage, which is called artifact filtering. And what I want to do is I want to use my artifacts as example as we go through those. So first of all, artifacts, which are five star artifacts, usually come with three substats. And what we're looking for is we're looking for artifacts with three good substats. For my Ito's case, I know what main stats I'm looking for. So with the flower, I'm looking for critical rate, critical damage, and also defense percentage. So firstly, we can do an initial review. So notice that some of the artifacts will have four substats, and some other ones only have three substats. The one with four substats do occur with 25% chance, and this is actually determined. So notice those ones only have three substats, and those ones have four substats. Having the four substats is definitely better, but what you ideally want to look for is critical damage, defense percentage, and you know critical rate, which don't come that easily. Then the next question is, how do you create them? So let me find an example that we can potentially create it. So over here we have critical damage, defense, percentage, and defense. What I want to create is going to be my critical rate. So what I usually do is I'll level this artifact to level 4. And by getting this artifact to level 4, we have the chance of getting additional artifact of the substats. But keep in mind, you want to know the probability of getting this particular rate. So if you're looking at the substats for the flower over here, we know that getting an additional percentage for the critical rate is 7.8%. So the rates for my actual leveling to 4 over here is not as high. But it's okay if we don't get it. Oh, we actually got it. Perfect. So that's actually a good demonstration. I was going to say it's okay if we don't get it because we know the rate of getting critical rate appearing on this artifact is only 7.89%. So what I mean by that is if this doesn't happen, the case I'm looking for, I will practice with other artifacts of the same kind. So let's say if that didn't happen, what I'll do is I'll still look for something like critical damage, defense percentage, and critical rate. Ideally, you want to find something with both critical rate and critical damage and roll into defense percentage. Once we have the good substats, what we can then do is we can try to level this artifact to level 8 and 12. Now, there's a big reason why we're doing 8 and 12, because if we come to this particular guide, this is by SFL over here. So you want to have a look at the comparison visually of the experience required for artifacts. You will doesn't cost much to go to level 4 to get your substats to all four of them, and then it's not that costly for level 8, 12. It gets a little costly to level 16, but after 16, the gap is massive to level 20. So only level to 12 initially, and then if you want to do it, you can do it to 16 or 20. So coming back to our notes over here, and hopefully it's not too confusing. So what we're trying to do is, we're trying to get artifacts to level 4, as you saw in the example I did. And I'm trying to get artifacts from 2 good substats into 3 good substats, like how we find the critical rate out of the critical damage and defense percentage. And once you have all of those level 4 artifacts, you can collect those that are having the th 3 good substats. So like the one we just found over here, which we created the final substat, and this way we can save this artifact for later use. And on the chance that you don't have 3 good substats, with the ones with only 2 good substats, which are level 4, we can use them for a jackpot system, which I'll explain to you as we go. Now, one of the reasons you may be asking, hey, why don't I try all my artifacts level 8 and 12? Because this will actually waste quite a bit of artifact experience. So how artifact experience works is, so you will lose 20% of the existing experience as you transfer it. So let's say if I spend artifacts to get to level 4, and if I eat up another level 4 artifacts, it will not give me the whole level 4 experience. It will give me 20% less. Now you might be saying, hey, isn't there a jackpot rate? So the jackpot rate is when you get the times 2 and also times 5 of the artifact experience. Those jackpot rate doesn't come often. And from the community, it is speculated that this will come about 10% chance. Now, similar to the artifact we just found over there, we can then try to get those good artifacts to level 16 if they continuously to give us good stats. I know this will take a bit of time. So what I'll do is, in this recording, I'll demonstrate on the one we just found. 
So what I do is, so firstly we're going to go enhance, and then what I follow up is I can use the artifact experience bottle, and this experience bottle will be simulating something like the level four artifacts. I'm trying to pick a few that's not good artifacts. So we can get this artifact from level five to 16 right away and still leave gap for the jackpot. And then what I'm trying to do is, ideally we can get multiple level ups of the good artifact. So we're trying to avoid, we're trying to avoid the 23 defense. Everything else is good, but ideally critical and critical damage is much more rare than defense. So let's see how we go. Oh, we didn't get the jackpot. Let's see, oh, Look at that. <laughs> so what how this works is it is quite hard to get multiple instances of the artifact rates at once. But once you have the triple good artifacts, what you can do is you can use this kind of system to get to level 16 from level four or five. And in reality, this will kind of spread the rates around the artifacts. So there's a small chance of going to defense, which I don't want. But everything else with a percentage will be focused in terms of a spread probability. And over here, what I do is might as well level this up to level 20 and have a look. Did we get, <coughs> oh, 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 look at this guys. So this worked as intended. This actually worked live during recording, but usually this takes many tries. So this is one of the artifacts I'll be equipping onto my Noel ready for Ito. So this is the HP main stat. This does not change. And this one follows into critical damage, defense percent, and also critical rate, which is a pretty decent looking artifact, right? You also have a sub stat for defense. So that was a pretty good success. I'll give you guys a small summary. So I will always be looking for artifacts that have three good sub stats. And then I will try my little jackpot system, which I'll try to take the artifacts to level 8, 12, or 16 directly. And hopefully it will spread between the three good sub stats over the one bad one. And sometimes you can get lucky with the, you know, the double rate or the five times rate and take you directly to level 20 as well. And in that sense, what we want to know is it is much more costly from 16 to 20. And usually I don't attempt 20 unless I want to keep the artifact, even if I don't get the final good roll. Even if I get a bad roll, I'll keep it, like the one we just saw. And usually from level 1 to 16, it's much more worth it. But I don't recommend you guys doing this from 1 to 16 though. I still recommend doing 1 to 12. So don't go 16. Why did I go 16 with this artifact, the one you just saw? It's because I knew I want all the stats. Even if I get defense plus, you know, flat defense, it's still good. Usually I'll do the same process and getting it to level 12. And if that doesn't work, this can be used into another artifact. Now, if you haven't subscribed, this is a really good time to do so. Make sure you also turn the bell on for the latest news as I find more of them for us. You can see that we're really dedicated for Genshin Impact. We'll have builds, guides, tips, news, and events updates for everything that's Genshin Impact related. Now, as we're leveling artifact, it is quite important to know which artifact is easy to farm or easy to get, and how does this work with different rates. We talk about the critical rate and also critical damage being the much more rare rates. So what I mean by that is, if we're looking for sap stats, ideally, if you have artifact with critical rate and critical damage, those are much more rare. Those don't come as often. So notice that with different set of artifacts, the sap stat for critical rate and critical damage is the lowest. Then later, if you're looking for defense, if you're looking for energy recharge, it is at a different rate. So it's quite important to understand what we're looking for and how to adjust for them. And also knowing that different artifacts will have different main stats. And what I mean by that is, notice artifacts have five different pieces. For the first two pieces, the main stats are fixed. It is quite important to know what main stats comes on artifacts. And with the sand, it can roll into those five different stats. So from HP percent up to elemental mastery. It does not have critical rate, it doesn't have increase of elemental damage. For the goblet, it has a range of different elements. It can go with percentage of HP, defense, it can also go with all sorts of elemental damage and finish with elemental mastery. Finally, with the circlet, it can have critical rate, critical damage, healing bonus. So, those can be a little messy right at the start. What I want to show you guys is, you want to farm the artifact that is easiest to get and then use the final piece with offset. So with most artifact set, you only need four sets, and the final piece can be from a different set, and this can be much easier. And what we want to focus on is, we want to focus on leveling up the flower and also feather to have the perfect stats. 
and then we look for send, circlet, and lift the globular to the last. Because here are some of the main stats probabilities for finding the right main stat. If we're looking for send artifact, which is this one over here, this is what I'm holding right now with Noel, it is pretty highly likely to roll into defense as a main stat. The chance is about 26.6%. So looking for a sand artifact and using the strategy from above into the three good substats will give you the highest chance of getting a good sand artifact. And that's what I did over here with a 25% critical rate. After that, the circlet do have a 10% chance for critical rate or critical damage it's for the main stat. So if I go back to my game, I come to the circlet, notice my circlet have found the main stats for critical damage. And then I used a similar method to get critical rate or defense. But this time it was like two good stats, not three good stats. I was during the live stream, I wanted to try this out. Well, actually really lucky to roll into critical rate multiple times. So after finding the circlet, the goblet should be the last artifact you should be looking for. Because looking for the goblet in within the terms of the elemental stats that's available, Notice that if I'm looking for geo damage, there's only 5% chance of getting the right main stat, let alone finding the right sub stats. You want to have as many of the artifacts with the main stats correct, and then use my method to find the sub stats that are correct. And in that sense, it is much harder to find the gold blood even with a geo stat. I think I did find one. Let's have a look at it if I find anything else. I did find a Geo one. Notice I got to level 12. I was hoping it would go to defense. It didn't. Let's see if I find... Oh, I found another Geo one. Oh, this is actually a perfect Geo one. <laughs> okay, okay. So let, let's have a look at this. Usually, I don't think this is actually... I actually... I was farming for, you know, the past two days with two, two to 3,000 artifacts of the Raisin farming. I actually didn't know I got this one. So that's... Let's have a look how should we do this. So I know I already have three stats I wanted. Energy recharge, defense percent, also critical rate, and also geo bonus. So this is actually an ideal artifact. And now what I kind of want to do is I want to use my small jackpot system to spread it evenly. I like to do this just as a personal preference. You don't have to do this. You can still level this up slowly one at a time. So notice that I don't need this geo one. So the ones I don't need can come here and help me to get it to 12 or even 16. Let's see how do we got. Can we get critical damage? Oh, we got defense too. Oh, interesting. So what happened is we have three sets of level up. One went to defense, two went to defense percentage. So that took us from 5.8 to 13.1. So what we want to do with artifacts is we want to find artifact with the correct main stats. And to find the correct main stats, we'll be looking for flowers, feathers first, because those will automatically have the fixed main stats. And after that, we can then look into the sand and also the circlet. The sand tend to have higher chance of the main stats correct and followed by the circlet with 10%. And finally, the goblet only have 5% chance of finding the right main stats correct. And once you have the main stats correct, you can then use my method of going to for level 4, level 8, and level 12 for artifacts to find at least 3 good sub stats. If you can find 4 good sub stats, that's perfect. But you know, 3 is good enough. And then I like to use my jackpot system to take them directly to level 12 or even level 16 if I'm feeling lucky and I want all the sub stats. And finally, <laughs> I know guys, this is quite long, right? So finally, what I want to show you guys is there is a little more to artifact farming. So not only do you get the correct main stats for the, you know, and also sub stats, there's also a mini tier. So what I mean by that is if we come to the wiki over here, you can see that within the artifacts, the quality of the sub stats are also affected. For the five star artifacts, there's four layers of quality, and this can be about, you know, the 25% quality. To give you guys a better example, let's come to a Reddit post over here, and this is by Larit over here. And basically, if you're looking for the sub stats on artifacts, they can roll into a number of different percentages within the substats. The lowest percentage of rolling everything into defense on the 5-star artifact of the substat is 30%, but the highest is 43%. So coming back to this artifact, I could have rolled a little higher on my defense by the looks of it, because my defense is only 13%. 
So what this kind of shows is even if you get all the artifacts with the right sap stats, there's still a massive difference between the highest sap stats compared to the lower sap stats. The difference is quite a bit. It's about 30% 30 30 difference. So in case you guys are looking for artifact perfection, this will definitely take more time. Even with the right sub stats, you want the higher level of sub stats. And by estimation, I think this will definitely cost over 5,000 reason to get. And in case you guys are wondering, I will post my entire artifact leveling and also, you know, finding stats experience on the next video. So currently I've spent about 2,000 to 3,000 reason for my artifacts. And I'll quickly show you what artifacts really work for me. So I think this is a pretty good farm. I didn't expect to find this many good ones. So coming over to my Noel's artifacts, I have found the critical damage, defense percent, critical rate for the flower. I haven't started on the feather yet. And over here with the defense of the sand, I found the defense, I found the critical damage. And then I also found the geo damage with critical rate, defense, energy recharge, and also defense, which is something I like. I think this roll twice. Yeah, I'm actually thinking this roll twice. <laughs> the defense, the flat defense. And finally, my 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 crown is actually pretty good too with critical rate, critical damage. So I think I did a really good farm. And those artifacts in total took me about 2,000 to 3,000 reason. And hopefully you guys found this video helpful because I did try to cover too many things at once. Next time I'll focus on a particular part of the artifact guide. So this way we'll have a series of videos then try to cover everything at once, which kills my voice and also makes it too long for you guys. So thank you so much for watching guys. I'll be making more videos on artifact and also showing off my Noel build, which works very well with Ito too. Because my Noel also have the weapon of the white blind to red fireman level 5 with a bunch of defense. So we'll talk about this very soon on the future videos. Now if you found this video helpful, make sure you subscribe and also turn the little bell on for the latest news. I'll be looking towards to make more builds, guides, tips and news and event updates for us as we come further into the game. And as always, I wish you guys the best of luck with catching and have the most fun in exploring this wonderful world.